So I was sitting in this chair the other day trying to come up with ideas for videos, ideas for franchise mode, road to the show, stadium creator, all of it. And I saw a guy by the name of Buyers Design on Twitter shoot me a message. And he said, now that there's a search feature for the stadiums, I have made college baseball stadiums for Pepperdine and FSU under my name. And at first I took a look at it and I was blown away. Guy did an incredible job making this field. I mean, if you look at it, he designed designed it to look almost exactly like what it does in Malibu for Pepperdine. He's got the school off on the left, he's got the houses in right field, even the terrain and the roads all around the field look incredible. And you know, and as I was playing on this, I played a couple games online, I covered it in another video of 10 beautiful stadiums for Road to Show on this channel, but as I was playing it, I got an idea. And it's something I used to talk about in a video a long time ago. And I said, what if college was in MLB The Show? And that was that was a pipe dream. It was really more focused on, hey, will San Diego Studios finally give us a opportunity or a reason to play in college? Like maybe you go from high school to college and then you go to the showcase and then you go to minor leagues and then to MLB. But with the changes this year to Road to the Show, I could say that is not a direction they're going in. They're actually going the opposite direction. And that made me a little bit sad. Um, but then I thought, uh, I thought about this again, thought about college and I thought about what buyers did. And my thought was, well, what if now with the ability to relocate, make fictional rosters, make completely new, you know, rebranded teams and now have stadiums, could you find the 30 top college programs? <laughs> yeah, you see where I'm going with this. The 30 top programs, college programs in the year, remake them completely, full team, actual stadium, every real player, you know, on at least the MLB roster. And so, you know, I wanted to get a little bit of a shot. Now, I wasn't going to completely make the, you know, the real guys. Um, that was going to be a little bit too much time. But I did go make the uniforms for a couple of teams that, you know, I'm fond of. Uh, one Pepperdine and, and one where I'm from, Washington State. Um, I, I, you know, and I said, what, what would this look like? What would this look like if we did this? And so I played a little game uh, here at Pepperdine 10 years into the future with these teams. And so what I did is I relocated the Mariners to be uh, Pepperdine and then Oakland to be uh, Washington State. I, don't ask me why I didn't do it the other way around, but regardless, this is what I did. And as I was playing this game and just looking at the graphics and looking at everything, being in the stadium, I started to feel really immersed into this. And now it's something I really want to do. Now, I, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? Like you could start a college franchise. Like this would be a massive undertaking. Basically, you would have to make a fictional roster and then you'd have to basically then make every team, which a lot of them exist already, but then to make the stadiums for each, that's another big undertaking. But I think people are gonna do it. And so you need the 30 teams, the 30 uniforms, and then the real rosters or an updated rosters for those teams. But then if you did that, you could have technically a college league, a almost like this weird hybrid, like super regional type thing where, um, you know, each division uh, in the American League and the National League was, you know, the five best programs from the key conferences in each place. Uh, or each kind of region of the United States. And I, I might just do it, you know? Like, uh, if you guys remember Dot League Baseball. Dot League Baseball, we made fictional players that played in the MLB. And then for 2.0, we made fictional teams that those fictional players played on. Um, but then, you know, I couldn't bring that, you know, that, that was the death of the DLB. I couldn't bring it from there into next gen um, for MLB 21. So we got to redo it again, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait until uh, Bacon's fictional rosters are done uh, and we're going to do something cool there. Uh, but that might take a while. So until then, there's obviously a few things I've got on my mind. Like I want to do an actual MLB franchise where, you know, I control one team, do something story related, um, very traditional that I have done in the past. I know, I know you guys are all excited for me to do that. I've got a team reveal that's coming here soon. Um, that I'm gonna release. Then the second thing is we've got this Road to the Show series going on and there's not really a direction behind it. Uh, and I know you guys know that, but basically I'm just playing as my player and 
every game I'm, you know, playing in a different stadium and it's just something fun. I'm trying to find different stadiums, weird, crazy, realistic, like, you know, the next one we're going to play in is going to be this Harry Potter themed field that, you know, Captain Tater Tot made, which is insane. And I know Shelfie put out a video on that. Um, and so if you want to see what that looks like today, go look at it. Um, but you can also find it on, on Twitter because I retweet, retweeted it and said, this is nuts. This is insane. Uh, and so we're going to keep that going. And that's going to be a little bit, you know, fun, more casual, just something I want to be able to pick up and play. I might stream it. I might then, you know, make videos. Uh, who knows? But then there's a big project in the background that myself and Nick uh, are working on, uh, which is a new Road to the Show character. But we're not going to be playing Road to the Show. It's going to be a career story about a player and we're going to make an, you know, a, a fictional story. We want it to be something that has never been on this channel before that people just haven't seen on the internet where it's almost like, you know, like a baseball movie or baseball anime featuring, featuring this character. And we want them to start in high school and then go college and then play in the minors and then play in the league. And now finally with the game we have here, we can do that. Like, I could actually go ahead and make a conference all high school teams and then we can make we can edit those players to be players that we want to exist in the future uh, we can give them personality we can give them a backstory like we did with the shot college draft class and so you know we've been testing and trying all these things in the past really preparing for this big thing we want to do um, it's going to be hard to do it's going to be very time consuming because we got to get voice actors. We've got to write the scripts. We got to think about what is the what is the seasonal arc, the series arc, the episode arc. What is the journey that you know this character goes through, and who does he meet, and how do we deliver that story in the in a format, all in a way that you guys are going to like it. Um, and so we had a Discord the other day where we were just talking about that specifically. Um, but there's a lot lot to think about, uh, but stay tuned for more information there. Now, outside of that, so we've got DLB 3.0. We've got the current road of the show we have. We've got a new franchise series that I'm going to announce here soon. And then what I'm hoping might be a college league. Like, could we do 30 college teams um, and play that on the channel? Would you guys be interested? Uh, and so really, that's what I wanted to make this, this video about. Um, I kind of just got this idea when I was playing this game and you know, it's, it's super cool and just different. Um, but yeah, I think this is this is what we're going to be thinking about the next couple of days. So uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and until the next one, we'll see you. Peace. <laughs>